Well, we'll pick it up right where we left off. With the T-Rex arm titan. Yeah, that's sort of the question from last episode. No! Damn it, I had hope. That was my mistake, as always. Oh my god, I love Reiner. Damn, I felt that shoulder pat. Such a small thing, but the amount of love that conveyed for me. I felt comforted. I hope we get to see more of Reiner this season, because he was one of the first cadets to really catch my eye. I remember, like, way back in the beginning during training, he stood out as one of the more driven or principled characters. And then when he got stranded in the forest with Armin and they only had one horse, if I remember correctly, he volunteered to stay behind. So he's a good guy, and you can tell he really cares about Connie. For me, that was a really special moment. <laughs> So there's still hope? Maybe? No. Don't do it to yourself, Alex. That's also what I want to believe, but guard your expectations. But the answer to what happened probably lies in the, the little weird T-Rex arm titan lying right on top of Connie's house. Maybe they were obliterated from the inside. This Titan just hanging out back there. I hope this doesn't lead to Connie fighting his family in Titan form. That would be pretty awful. No! The timing of that. Just stop it. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Hear what? I heard nothing. Let's move on. Continue the mission. Right, yeah, I'm with Reiner. Nope, that's your problem. You shouldn't be thinking. No, 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 no. I mean, I feel like that's good advice, even if Connie's right. Which he isn't. It's, he's not right. That's just a normal Titan. Can't help but notice they both have uh, the Xerxes eyes. Well, this is shaping up to be a fun one. <laughs> Southwestward. Yeah, we still don't know what happened with that. Yeah, that was a major oversight. The big mistake was not letting them just have their gear. It would have taken, you know, I don't know, a couple minutes. <laughs> you did, be honest. Everyone loves Goddess Krista. Her silence confirms it. Krista. <laughs> I love you. Oh. I don't really know what to make of that scene. What is she talking about with her family? Krista, the goddess that she is, is obviously great. But Ymir is someone who, I think for the most part so far, we've only really seen in a negative light. So it'd be cool if there's more to her character. Look who it is. Nice. Pretty cool. And that was when their defenses got broken, immediately. Yeah, this whole thing is different. Something is different this time. There is no hole. It's coming from inside, I guess. But why and how? The silence is terrifying. Yeah, although they're not as active at night, right? Because they need sunlight. <laughs> what do they run into the other team? Is that the whole wall? <laughs> nope. But why now? I guess it's possible that there's someone who has the ability to make this happen. But my first guess is that it's sort of a dormant thing that is now being expressed or coming out. But there might have been some kind of catalyst for that. Because why all of a sudden? <laughs> I think she's piecing together the whole, like, wall thing, yeah. Armin, just always listen to him. He always knows. 
That was a bit extreme. Once again, high pressure on Eren's shoulders. It's a reasonable plan, but I feel like Eren, he hasn't really made all that much progress in being able to control himself. He's still relying on this wonderful hand-biting method. He needs an Annie ring or something. Armin. Promote this guy. As usual. Right. Once again, Eren's sort of the weakest or least sure link in this plan. Who knows? But you gotta say yes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, just put yourself in the situation. Once again, I find myself agreeing with Levi's philosophy. This is something I think about, although in my life it's a lot less extreme than what Aaron is dealing with, obviously. But there's something about throwing yourself in at the perfect point of difficulty that enables the maximum amount of growth. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a really healthy thing and conducive to great growth to be a little bit out of your depth. There's a sweet spot, obviously. Like, you don't want to throw yourself so far in that you're just destroyed, right? But a more common risk, I think, is not putting yourself anywhere near that zone, right? And just living where things are comfortable and where your ability aren't really pushed to their limits. It's pretty easy for me to have this vague sense like I could be doing a little bit more and I gotta make sure that's a measured thing like I, I can't let that get out of control but in a way in certain situations that fear right the fear of like just saying yes to something or demanding yourself just to rise to the challenge that's a good place to be a lot of the time. So yeah Aaron is kind of the biggest unknown in this plan but it's worked so far right they've just thrown him in and he's always a little bit behind but he's been good enough. We need to get back to the basement too. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Well, we'll find answers, but that will lead to more questions. Alright,止まるな。壁が破壊されちまってんだから。お前らの望みが叶って、壁の中を巨人で満たすことに成功すれば、みんな巨人の癖、口の中で人生最悪の気分を味わい、その生涯を終える。At least he has a heart. At least he cares. Tell us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure he has his reasons. Wow. Their sacred will. Would it be Aaron or someone else? Is it Sasha? Huh? What the? Wait, what? For a second I thought it was Sasha, but it's not. They're saying her, and Sasha just happened to enter the room. Who could it be? About the Wallists, my perspective has changed somewhat from what I thought they were going to be, which is just sort of blind religious zealots, to the idea that the religion is just a custom to protect something that is actually very relevant in the world. This guy has a commitment to his group, but it doesn't seem like blind faith. It seems like there are actually calculated reasons happening in his head for why it's best for people. And he talked about their sacred will, right? So there's some group that set all this up that had knowledge of this whole Titan thing. Who is it? Oh no, another mystery person for me to potentially get wrong. Ymir? I don't know. <gasps> wow, how did she know the ultimate reward? Oh, it's Krista. God is Christ. God is Krista. Damn it, I had a 50 50 chance. <laughs> I was thinking Ymir or Krista. I took my swing and I, I struck out. Goddess Krista. Is that re the reaction because of Ilsa's notebook and the uh, Ymir people? And Ymir cares about Krista's family. Wait, what? What is that? I can't make out what that is, but Reiner knows something. Is that Monkey Titan? Just wait till he talks. They're making their move, whatever their move is. Nice, I like how he looks directly at Armin. 
Oh cool, he's calling out their individual strengths. He knows them pretty well. Don't screw up. <laughs> Levi's showing his leadership abilities, recognizing people's individual talents. He made very short work of that wall. That is actually really good advice for Eren. <laughs> Listen to the man. Eren's growing. It seems like we're ramping up into another arc like the forest arc, which is very exciting. There's so much going on right now. We're not really getting answers, but at least things are moving somewhat. It does seem like the Ilsa's notebook OVA was significant to what's happening right now, like with the Ymir people and there being groups of people that are doing things or know about things. We just got the goddess Krista reveal that she's somehow, you know, a special person in all this. And Ymir knows something, and I'm guessing the conversation Ymir had with Krista is significant in light of that. Like, Ymir literally has the first name of the group of people that the Titan mentioned in Ilsa's notebook. And Krista is one of the chosen people. And they have a connection more than just what I suspected was romance. So that feels like a development, even though I don't understand what it is exactly. Then, it's pretty clear to me at this point that the humans are becoming Titans. Like, that's what happened in Connie's village. That was his mother, even though I hate to admit that. We have a new plan for Eren and some development that comes with that. I'm really enjoying Levi being a mentor to Eren. I didn't really think too much of it at first, I don't think. But the more I see Levi, the more I think he's actually really shrewd. Like, despite his cold front, he actually is kind of an empath, you know, like he really understands people. And I'm guessing he actually really does feel things deeply. It's just that he uses his reservation as a tool just to, you know, cope with the world and, and you know, be a hero and all those things. Because that was very insightful advice to all three of them, especially Aaron. And I do feel like, you know, just based on what little I've seen of this season, Aaron is being set up to have a lot of growth. That we're getting away from season one Aaron a little bit. At least temporarily. Like, you never know where he'll ultimately end up. Because I feel like he's always on this kind of line and that's exactly why Levi's advice is so relevant to him. Also exciting is it seems to me that we're kind of coming back to the cadet focus. I feel like the latter half of season one was very Survey Corps senior focused but now we're getting kind of enhanced spotlight on like Sasha. We had a whole episode with her. Reiner who I'm starting to get a really strong feeling about. Connie and whatever's going on with Ymir and Krista. So it's it's fun stuff. There's a lot setting up and all these things happening at once is so exciting like all these objectives. Aaron having to seal the wall which might lead to them getting to the basement finally. Everybody else sort of out there in the wild trying to survive. Hanji trying to do her science stuff. Levi, I guess, going on his own journey. I'm not really sure where he's going. They were splitting up. The Monkey Titan doing God knows what. So many things happening on multiple fronts. It's really cool. I'm very excited to see where this season goes. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time for episode four where I'm sure things will really kick off.